important. And that is look at the headlines. All right, let's do look for some aliens. Uh, a new project called Breakthrough Listen has been announced. It's being funded by physicist and billionaire Yuri Milner. He's the guy who started Mail.ru. So it was, you know, the Gmail of Russia, yeah. essentially. He's, he's he funded several other uh, startups. He's an investor in Facebook. Uh, he's like, an investor in WeChat. It is uh, like Zynga, WhatsApp, I think. Zynga, Sorry. Groupon. Yeah, Zynga. Okay. Uh, so so this is, he is a physicist. He's a trained physicist. And he started his own version of the Nobels, the Breakthrough Prizes in Fundamental Physics and a couple other areas. Now he's going to give $100 million over 10 years to pay for time on radio telescopes and a laser telescope to search for alien civilizations. Uh, a third of the money goes to equipment, a third to staff, and a third to the telescopes for observation time. The Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia, the Parkes Telescope in Australia uh, will both be part of this. They are able to do things like detect aircraft radar from the nearest thousand stars. That's how sensitive they are. And then the search for optical signals, which they're calling laser signals because, let's admit it, that sounds a lot cooler, uh, will happen at the Lick Observatory's Automated Planet Finder in Northern California. That one is capable of detecting a 100-watt laser, like your normal household bulb-type laser, from 25 trillion miles away. What? Yeah. That so they are amazing. over 10 years, they're going to check the million closest stars and the 100 closest galaxies. At least that's the task they've set for themselves. Mm -hmm. They say they can collect as much data in one day as usually takes a year. They're going to use this existing SETI at home project at Berkeley in cooperation with the Berkeley uh, Search for Ex Extraterrestrial Intelligence Project. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, and they're going to open source all the data and all their software so everybody else can pitch in. Yeah, I, 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 when I read about the open source, I really liked that because then you can. Yeah, what is it? What is a program called where people were using their computer power for like that's something? SETI at home? Yeah. Okay, I was, I was like cancer treatment. Well, there's folding at home was the next one after SETI at home where they okay. did it for cancer. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Distributed computing. Yeah, I think I think that's amazing because all the data has to be poured through, and it's you know people like me who would love to pour through pour through some data of, of alien possible alien life. That'll be fascinating. Yeah, I, I, this is a really interesting way of going about it because what we're seeing has not, it's not that it hasn't been tried before. Uh, there's the Allen Array that's being built, uh, which is funded by Paul Allen, another billionaire, uh, who is, who's trying to boost uh, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. There's, the, Ar okay. there's the Arecibo Observatory, but nobody has pulled together the stars, and I use that on purpose, <laughs> uh, because you've got uh, the... Astronomer Royal of the Royal, Royal Society in, in England, Lord Martin Rees, is the head of an advisory board. And on that board is Frank Drake, the man who created the Drake Equation, which helps us figure out what the possibility of alien life existing is. Yeah, I uh, heard of him, yeah. And Drew Yan, who produced Cosmos and was the wife of Carl Sagan. Uh, Jeff Marcy, uh, who is the head of, uh, of the search for exoplanets at Berkeley. And the list goes on. This is, this is an all-star And Stephen all Hawking, cast. of course. Stephen Hawking is not on the advisory board, but he showed up for the announcement because he's like, this is just really cool. I okay. want to <laughs> put my Stephen Hawking seal of approval on this. Yeah. That's, that's all. Wait, what, so will they have the guy from Ancient Aliens with the hair? The, will they have him? Like, he needs to be the, the spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet they don't think much of him. <laughs> I, yeah, this I, is the actual physicist here right. versus, versus the TV host. Well, think about it, though. Seth so Shostak is the senior astronomer and director uh, for SETI Institute. And SETI Institute is not involved in this yet. It may still be. But you can see him, you know, folding his arms and saying, well, you know, this is a different approach. He called it great news. Like, what's cool about this is it seems like all the people who want this to happen are, A, really qualified and really smart, and B, all in it together. Like, yeah, we should be looking. Here's the other thing. There's another project called uh, the Breakthrough, uh, what is it called? The Breakthrough Listening? Breakthrough Message. To formulate a possible response, but more than that, Lamar, decide whether we should respond at all if we hear an alien. Yeah, I, I was reading in, a, in an article, I don't know, Stephen, uh, Stephen Hawking or someone said that, you know, the, the issue is, it, you know, it could be bad for the lesser species uh, of the first contact. It's like if we're if we're the ones that are 
you know, the, the, the low end technology and, and the more uncivilized, you know, yeah, we, we send out a signal, hey, here we are. <laughs> we can, Easy we can pickings. Take, yeah, come, come take us over. Your free food. Oh, yeah. All they have is broadcast radio. <laughs> <laughs> and vice them. versa, because human nature, I mean, that's just what we do, unfortunately. What? You know, and I hadn't thought about it that way. That's a really good point. We we might say, oh, well, we've determined that this civilization is less advanced than us. Maybe we still shouldn't contact them because of what we might do to them. Yeah, I mean, we just we have a track record of it, uh, unfortunately. So I, I I think this is great because you're getting this is non-governmental. It's not NASA is not involved. I mean, even though you know they, sh I think NASA should have their own program, and they probably do. You know, this is not non-governmental. This this is business people with their own money and I, I like that because I think you're going to get better results and it's going to be less secrecy when it's people who are not tied to you know tied to the government at all well I have to say just because you said government and secrecy with NASA NASA is very open uh, with their data and, and with what they're doing. They open source almost everything. They share all their data. So mm -hmm. I, I want to give them credit there. And they're actually cooperating with this. But I also know what you're saying is NASA has to go to Congress to beg funding for anything that they want to do. And even they get halfway through a project, Congress might say, mm, actually, no, we're not going to let you do this. This funding mm -hmm. will, is likely not to go away because Yuri Milner said, I want to do this, and I've got the money to do it. Absolutely. That's a drop in a bucket for him, too. Yeah, it is. So, uh, so I don't, I don't know when, when you when you messaged me about aliens, I, I was surprised, I was shocked. I, I was telling you, I was literally watching Ancient Aliens when you mentioned it, which it is a great. hilarious show, yeah, was, by the way. Yeah, right in my right in my. That's, I, all, that's I, so funny. I, I, yeah, I, I love that show. So no, this, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna track this, and uh, you know, I haven't done the at home thing for years. I I, I did it for the cancer research years ago with one one of my computers and you know i i i want to get back and said this might be, this might be a good uh, a good project to try to add my computing power you know whatever it made me think about you know reinstalling seti at home myself and mm -hmm. i think it might have a halo effect because seti at home is what led to folding at home and a lot of these other projects yeah, it is. may start getting other people to look at these other distributed computing projects and get more interested in them again. Uh, and, and that could just be good for everyone as well. Absolutely. Do you think, okay, just to give the other side here, do you think it's a waste of time? Do you think this is a waste of Yuri Milner's money? And he can spend it however he wants, but do you think this is a waste of time on our telescopes to be looking for extraterrestrials? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Um, no, I don't think. I think we as humans are always looking for something greater than ourselves. Uh, and, and that's just we, we're we're explorers, researchers. We we go in our oceans. We haven't even explored one, you know, more than one percent of our own uh, own uh, oceans. And you know, we we're we're, we're explorers. So I think it's a natural thing to want to know: is there something greater or better uh, uh, out there? Uh, you know, that might help humanity get their act together. I mean, on a more philosophical uh, thing, I, I think finding. Uh, that we're not alone will kind of humble us and realize that you know our our race fighting it, it sh you know should immediately be over because now we we're human versus whoever else and uh, yeah I, I I think I think it's a it's a it'll solve a lot of issues it'll create some issues uh, you know where okay we're not alone uh, you know the, is religion real blah blah but I I think at the end of the day it's too much curiosity out there there's too too much nuance and even the show that we joke about brings up a lot of good points about about things that are here right on earth so we we want to find out i want to find out i think yeah i think that show as 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 weird as it is uh is existing because we have these questions we Absolutely. want to know is there anything else out there i mean and these are questions we've had as a species forever when when we were isolated on earth we wondered who lived over the mountain range right uh, we always wondered like who lives across the ocean who and and this is just the next step for us to say mm -hmm. who live who if anyone lives out in the stars and i think it's worth looking the other thing if you're still like i don't care if we find aliens i don't want to know uh there is a lot of ancillary in information that we could learn from this unexpected results as we go through all of this open source data we could find out all kinds of other discoveries about what is happening astronomically out there uh, because we're because they're not locking up the data they're looking for extraterrestrial signals but you can use the data that is observed for anything and and there might be other astronomical uh 
unexpected objects discovered as a part of that. Like kryptonite, absolutely. We might find krypton. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, because Batman has a year to to find a way to beat him. So, right. Yeah. Ben Affleck's really betting on this. <laughs> yeah. 